and that, right. you know, since, you know, everybody jump up, you know. If you're going to take a time out just to run for school, you should have sent another 11 out there. Yeah. But, you know, but, you know. Oh, oh man, let's yeah. talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about that. You know, you know, you know last week we talked about um, kids getting playing time. And on the website, that's been the biggest thing been hitting on the website and everything. <laughs> and see, you know, it's been different if I never coached. Right. Never won a championship. But I had never in my whole coaching career had a parent walk up to me and say, my boy not playing. Why my kid not playing? I never had a kid on my team that's on the sideline and said, well, it made a excuse for him to, hey, he didn't want to get in. You know, I'm just saying, if I practice from June, season started in August and everything, and the kids ought to know, see, I have a depth chart. Who's my first string? Who's my second string? Who's my third string? Then I point out to these kids, know, what you play. Right. So, I mean, if you're a parent, you know, and, and your kid can't come home and tell you what position, what position you play, uh, I don't oh, know. No. I, I just got in no three plays and everything. So the league had to do something about putting three plays out there and everything. You know, maybe we need to do a little more. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's something these kids not practicing, but they're not playing either, though, and everything. I mean, so if you're up by 20, 30 points, you know, then you still see that, hey, it's 11 guys on the offense, then when the defense come in, only three guys go out, eight stay on the field right. and everything. I know, you know it's apparent. If you can't say, well, what position you play, son? If, or I play you no know, receiver behind number 25. So you see 25 come out of the game, you expect to you see your go son in. Go, go in, in. Right. and everything, you know. So, I mean, so, 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 so I think the coach got to do a little more on that part. No, at least let the kid know what, they, what position they play. That way the parent can know what I can look for this guy in. You know, if you're running back, you know, you know why should you look for him to play in? You know, and, you know, maybe ask your coach, what's the depth chart? Did my son first, second, third <laughs> on defense? First, second, third on offense? Or he just played first, second, third on special team? And I mean, so, I mean, you no, know, we're going to have a we'll special team on C team. But, you know, but I think a kid should know what, what, what they play. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the other thing that you may want to look at, you know, hey, if you want these teams, you close to the playoff, and you need to win, hey, look at the crowd's field, man. Is he playing everybody? Cause, hey, put the camera on. Because if they not playing everybody, guess what? They can beat you 100 to that. They about to forfeit this game. Right. Because they know, not playing everybody. That's right. I mean, if a kid dressed out on your sideline, mm -hmm. he come to play. Right. You know, we can say, well, I, 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 he was scared to go in, he won't go in and everything. We know, hey. I don't dress them out. Well, let me ask you this. You know, the biggest thing, you know, when folks say kids scared to play, things of that nature, I think part of it is a lot of coaches don't realize a lot of these kids come to learn how to play. They don't know how to play. That's the topic right there. You know, a lot of times when, when coach putting the team together, you know, and know, know, it's mostly about the coach mm -hmm. and everything. You know, because kids come out, they want to learn football. They want to learn football. You cannot measure your, your, your coaching talent in this league by how many championships you win. As long as you got those kids ready to compete, you already won. And when those kids leave Mice to go to junior high, you know, or middle school, and go on to, you know, to college or whatever, then that's how you measure what you talk to your kids. And we have a kid that uh, kid played for us, uh, a, a team in our league, played J.A., the leading tackle over there, and he played safety in Mice, and he still played safety over there, 58 tackles. You know what I'm saying? Hey, over eight uh, interceptions and everything. I mean, <laughs> played no played private school level, but we have a lot of uh, kids that played no public schools and everything that still playing those same positions. So this are uh, this is a learning and developmental thing, right here. You know, I mean, you can't just pick those eleven all stars and everything. Say, oh man, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna no. And all these kids come and learn something. If a kid kind of scared to get out there, maybe we haven't did our job as a coach. You know, to teach them, you know, since, you know, some of them since March, you know, however how long they've been practicing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just think, you know, that, you know, just to look into that and everything. Yeah, every parent wants the kids to be a part of a winning team, blah, yeah. blah, blah, that we won a championship and everything. But I want you to be able to say that we won. Right. You know, not those 11. Yeah. Not those special, you know, kids won and everything. Yeah, we all want them to think that it was, it was just about just coming out there and, you know, and just be a blunt to some of these parents. Like, you know, I paid this much money, and I expect my child to play. At that point, when the parent is mad about their child not playing, they not thinking about championships. Right. They want their child on the field playing. Right. And you know, we have we have a lot of fans in the stands, but none of them are NFL scouts. They not looking for these oh, kids no, yet. No, you can't go from from Pee Wee to, to, to NFL. You know, <laughs> you know, if it is, no, I want to be the agent. <laughs> but I think that we need to refocus ourselves. You know. 
you know, and not, and don't get caught, caught up into you no know, just winning you no know, all the time and just you no. Know, but you're gonna you're gonna win when this kid that come out there and you see what he didn't know what a three point stands at, at the end of the season. He got a perfect stance. He's doing everything you're talking to do and everything. But I don't think that you no know, you no know, you no know, you're up by so many touchdowns you win and everything. There shouldn't be a time you just throw kids in because of that. But these kids should contribute to your winning. Right. And everything. You should be able to change them out. Kids should be able to know who they play behind and everything. You know, I mean, like so many times I see coaches running players to the sideline, quarterback to the sideline, and give them the play. Now you got to run 40, back, 40 yards back on the field to do the play. And there's a quarterback keeper you know, back to the sideline you know, and everything. I mean, so let's send some guys in, some receivers. Let's send some new backs in and everything. You know, not just a little spirit that I learned when I coached and everything. I had four sets of backs. Running back and the fullback. And after two plays, each one of them know to come in the game automatic. Because I believe all of them can run and everything, you know. So I never had no, no, no son in the league, nothing like that. So, you know, I didn't have no special interest like that, trying to just run no kids and stuff like that, you know, my special kids as well. Right. But I think, you no, know, they knew two plays, they changed each other out, you know. Receiver knew two plays, they changed each other out and everything. They even had linemen do the same thing and everything. And so when you, my offense come out the field, the defense go back out there. And my offensive guy was, you no know, like secondary to my defense guy. If the defense guy go out, then you can pull my offense guy. I want these guys to be fresh. Right. You know, I don't want them to go all the way down the field like that. They have to come play defense. But I think it's something the coach got to learn and everything. You know, it's all about developmental. Most of these teams got five or six coaches on each squad. Yeah, true. If this kid not right, right in this spot, he okay, I'm going to put you down here. This coach going to train you to do this. This coach gonna train you to do that. Then, then about the end of the week, we say, well, I think he's better at this position than he is at this, you know, and everything, you know. Then we're gonna prove the point too, Tim. Hey, when the praises come out. Oh man, them grades. When no grades come out, you know, if no star player ain't getting it up, no. Yeah, mama them say, uh, nah, he can't play this week. He got to do his homework. What you gonna do then? Right, right. So I think we just need to refocus and know and and uh, you know and worry about you know the the kids' experience. Right. And they're not the coach experience. I think we we're, we're to that point that you know that you know the kids can come out to say, well, well, I came to your team to make you a championship coach and win you know win the championship. And everybody want to win, right? They want to win. win, you know. But I think though the bottom line is that if if you start practicing in June, it's September now and everything, and this kid you know not going in but three plays. You know, three plays is our rule and everything. But as a team, should have a policy that hey. I want to find something that every kid can do and everything, especially when you look on the field and everything, and you see, you know, two or three guys come out of the game on offense and defense like that. No, I mean, and this kid can, can get hurt and he can fold the leg back two times and break the leg. By the, by the second half, he ready to go back in the game. You ready to have an injured this player, you know, then the, then the one good player on the sideline that's ready to get out there to show you that he can do the same thing. Right. And then some of the, some of the success, like I say, is not, not just – Wins you look at the beginning of the year, say for example the Titans 18, how they start out to how they doing that. Right. You can tell you, you know Probably. those 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 guys are getting better. Right. You know so and you know that's a, that's a tribute to you know Coach Smith and Coach Evans over there. You know is and they winning some games, right. but even the games that they they've lost lately they haven't been blowouts. They've been closer. So right. so you can tell that they are contending. And right. so you know and things like that you know and the, what my final point is when it comes to this. At the end of the game, once the players go across and shake hands, the kids, they finish with the game. Right. They, you know, they lost whatever. They won, they happy, they lost whatever. They happy. They just, all now they off to go run around the stadium, drive Miss Jones crazy, right. play them, play have them fun. Yeah, have fun with <laughs> each other. So right. by, by some nachos, everybody hand is a nacho. Yep. You know, kids don't let it go and everything. So that should be an example to the coaches that know these kids go to school together. They stay in the same community together. And their things, so they just they want to play each other out there together. You no, know, some of them gonna have bragging right here. We beat y'all, blah blah blah. But after that, the nachos taste the same. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we gonna play throwback up under the stands yep. and their things. So I think we just put too much, you no, know, other grown person in, and it always be that way. The grown person, and no, you know, that we have to refocus ourselves to make sure that it's a good experience. Let this time of their life be the best time of their life. I have kids that that played for me, that now some coach in the league, and some even had their kids play in the league, and, uh, and some that walk up to me, they'll hug my neck, they man, I remember when you used to coach up, we used to do this, we used to go out and eat and all that, but they never had one come up and say, man, I ain't hard to play. You know, <laughs> man, I was scared to play. You know, you know what I mean? So I, you know, I, I just think that it, it's, it's the way you coach to fear out the kids and everything, and that's by repetition.
right. and everything. If you're not used to falling, once you fall and see they know, hey, I got equipment on, it's not going to hurt me. And everything, you know, I mean, so then you start getting used to that. And everything. But I just think to refocus, get back to the kids, you know. We're here for the kids and everything. They come to your team to learn football. They might not be the best runner, best catcher, best thrower, and everything, but they come every day and they smile at you. Hey, coach. First one to greet you. Last one say, all right, coach, see you later. Last one to see you in the supermarket. Hey, coach. They're going to remember you coaching. coach, and it's going to be up to you to, to know how they remember you. Uh, I don't want to play football, football no more because how this coach treated me and everything. I, I don't want to come to the game. I'm not going to, you know, I don't want, I don't want to play. I, I, for the parent point of view, you know, you inviting cousins, nephews, and everybody, grandma, them to the game, you know, come watch them play. You know, they win and everything, and your kid never, you know, get in the game. Why he get in the game when quarterback taking a knee? You know. I mean, That's true. I mean, so... That's our view on it and everything. You know, hey, you know, if you feel that you know, we, we're wrong, or I say it out of context, I invite any coach come in here, you know, we can, you know, uh, rebate, you know, do, do, do a uh, rebuttal on it or whatever. You know, see, you know, and, you know, hey, like my motto is prove me wrong <laughs> and everything. But, no, I think that everybody wants to play. All right, well, see you next week. <laughs>